Kelsey. I love you. I am who I am because of you. You are every reason, every hope, and every dream I have ever had. And no matter what happens to us in the future, every day we are together is the greatest day of my life. I will always be yours. Forever and always. Dan. Dear Dan, today is finally the day I get to call you my husband. I feel like I've waited my whole life for this moment. I've always dreamed of walking down the aisle to my Prince Charming, and today is that day. You are the love of my life. You are the one person who can make me laugh when I don't want to. I can always put a smile on my face when you walk into the room. You never make me question your love for me, and you never forget to call me beautiful or gorgeous. Every day, when I look like a mess. I know I can always count on you, even when there is no one else in the world to count on. So this is my vow to you. I promise I will always be faithful and be there for you in good times and bad. I promise to always be your front seat driver and always make sure I record your flying, your RC helicopters, and go to your events when I don't want to. I promise to respect you, trust you, encourage you, and cherish every moment we have together. From this day forward, I will continually be a better version of myself because of you. I love you so much and I can't wait to be your wife. Your wife. Love, soon to be Mississippi. exchanging your vows, you have symbolized your commitment by exchanging rings, and you express the end of your individual lives by pouring from the unity sand. With all of this, there's just one last thing to do. Right? Do you take Anne to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, and honor and keep him? in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to be faithful to him as long as you live. Dan, do you take Kelsey to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> 
By the power vested in me by Universal Life Church in the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. coming to celebrate Dan and Kelsey's big day. I remember the night she first met Dan. We had went up to his apartment with a few friends to hang out. When they first locked eyes, it was like love at first sight. You could tell by the huge grin on Kelsey's face. After that night, Dan was the topic of all conversations. Five years later, here we are, celebrating their marriage. I wish you guys many and many years of happiness. I love you both. If anyone here this afternoon who is feeling nervous, apprehensive, or queasy at the thought of what lies ahead, it's probably because you just married Dan Hiller. <laughs> All those among, among you who know the bride will know that she is a wonderful and caring person. She deserves a good husband. Thank God he married her before she found him. I've been asked by many how I'm going to cope with my best friend being married and spending all of his time loved up at home. I'm thrilled. I'll finally be able to talk to a woman without him cramping my style. Loyal, caring, sincere, honest, and a great man. But enough about me. As I raise my glass, I'm wishing you all the best for tonight and many years to come with Mr. and Mrs. Dan Hiller. Dakota, good things are going to happen. Yeah. 